And uh, the, so I think just uh, just as we as we finish up, there was a couple of questions that a lot of the um, that some of the fans put through. They um, yeah. another thing they wanted to find out: Did you, do you think this is Ether King? Do you think Invoke set the standard for vocal ranges among R and B girl groups? That we've set the vocal standards for? Yeah, yeah, when you came out, do you think you set the vocal standards for R&B yeah. girl, girl groups? Oh, yes, exactly, I do. Hello, what's his name again? Ether? This was, this was Ether King, yeah. Ether King, yes. Hi, Ether. Um, yeah, we did. We set that standard not just for girl groups, but for boy bands as well. I remember the first time, uh, what's his name? What their name? Uh, Color Me Bad did their acceptance speech. They did it live, just like us, singing... Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they did. So, yeah, we set the standard very high. We did. But were there any rivals? I mean, if, would you look? Jodeci would look at boys to men and say they were their sort of uh, evil twins, sort of the the, the yeah. preppy. But when when Evoke came out, who were you guys looking at and thinking, hmm, competition in a way from the girl group? Well, we were the first ones to come out. We were the first girl group in, in 1990, so there was no Jade, SWV, Destiny Child, there was no TLC, uh, Milk and Stuff, there was no um, ex-girlfriend, you know, black, black girl, none of those girl groups were out yet. I think um, Your Sweetness is My Weakness, what is that girl group? Uh, the Good, <laughs> good girls. girls, yeah. Yeah, exactly, they were out, but they weren't, nothing like in Vogue, we... You know, and I'm not playing them any shade or nothing like that, but it was just night and day. Okay. It wasn't even, yeah. They weren't on our level and they weren't singing like us, like harmony wise or anything. They just weren't. So I think the closest a girl got, girl group got to in Vogue was maybe Escape vocally. Ha! Oh, what is that song they have? Um, that they sing yeah i think that they were the only ones i can't think of the song it was a ballad yeah uh, who who do you run to who do you run to? Who, who do i run who, to who do I run but they to? were yeah. also yeah they were also liking themselves in that song it was an old jones girls song mm. so they kind of did exactly what jones girls did so um i would say brownstone maybe yeah, I don't know. There were they, each group would do a couple of little harmonies and stuff like that, but they still weren't prevalent with their harmonies the way that we were. Yeah. So and, and and I love the fact that all the girl groups had their own thing. Yeah. You know, they weren't trying to be like in vogue. They had their own signature sound. SWV had their own signature sound. Yeah. Um uh Desi Shaw would always give us our props whenever they would do uh, you know, a, an interview. Um, SWV wasn't so nice to us in the press, but now, you know, Coco and I love each other. <laughs> she supported me the other day. I did an interview and she was on there wow. and she supported me. Yeah. And I support her. I love her dog. And, you know, we did a play together. So she's like my sister without being a sister. Yeah. Then the other questions they had is, is it true? This is Precious Williams. Is it true that for the 30th anniversary of Invoke's mm -hmm. debut album that she feels Rhonda shouldn't be involved? Uh, it's Rona. Rona, well, sorry. It's Rona, Rona. That's all right. Um, yeah, it is true. I hold no bars about that um, because that's my opinion. We created En Vogue together. Rona wasn't there for that. She wasn't there for the beginning when we were, you know, rolling around and, and living out of our suitcases to make En Vogue what it was. So I just think that in 2010, when we came back together to do the, 10th, uh, the 20th year anniversary, Rona sat it out. She wasn't with us. And I respected that. And I thought that she should do the same thing for our 30th anniversary. And she didn't do that. So Cindy and Terry feel like she's been with them longer than Maxine and I at this point. Mm -hmm. And she has. She's been with them 13 years. I think we were together eight years when I left the group. Um, mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. She wasn't there from the beginning. So she shouldn't be there now. Right now, a fan told me the other day that Rona is celebrating her anniversary with the Mickey Mouse Club that she did the Mickey Mouse Club show. Or, I don't know if it was a TV show or a stage show, but she's celebrated 30 years with them. Were mm. we a part of that? No. Max, I wasn't invited. Terry wasn't invited. I don't think Cindy and Maxine were invited either. Mm. So why should she be a part of something that she wasn't there for? So that's my that's my stand. So And, and somebody else did ask that um, why 
Invoke couldn't do a five piece like New Edition when they because brought I don't in... want to do a five piece like in <laughs> New Edition. That's when they, why. When they brought in Jenny because Gale. I don't think I don't think that the blend is there. I don't think her harmonies blend with us. She's much taller than the rest of us. It just is not a good fit. Mm. That was something that Cindy and Terry brought her in. Cindy and Terry need when they have a thirteen year anniversary with with Rona, then they can celebrate that. And Maxine and I won't be a part of it. But right now. Rona has been a part of the group for 13 years that Maxine and I have not been able to be a part. They kicked me out. Mm. They didn't fight to keep me in the group. So why are they fighting to keep Rona in the group? Yeah. I mean, it's not fair to me. So there's a lot of things that I look at, like it wasn't fair. And I told them in a meeting that we had just before we did this charity event last year, um, maybe two months, months before that charity event. And we all came together. Rona was there. Um, I said to Cindy, it was just Cindy and I going back and forth about why Rona should be a part of the re reunion. And I said, it's not fair that you guys are fighting so hard to keep her in this group. But you didn't fight this hard to keep me there. You didn't stand up for me. You didn't say anything on my behalf. You, you did not have my back the way that you're having Rona's back. Rona didn't help build En Vogue. Rona didn't build the foundation that En Vogue is built on. That was the hard work that I put in. Yeah. So why are you so you you're so busy trying to fight so hard for her, but you didn't fight as not you didn't fight at all for me. Mm. In '97, when Sylvia Rohn said you can't be in this group, you guys were like, okay, Dawn is out. But you're fighting so hard to keep Rona. Like I have a problem with that, and I mm. and I took offense. So her and I were going back and forth, and I was like, well, we just we have to agree to disagree. Um, if if there's going to be a reunion happening uh, in 2020 next year, because this was last year, like I said, then. Yeah. If she's a part of it, then I'm not going to be in it. Here we go! Oh! Doesn't take much to make me happy Ooh, and make me smile Ooh, And I never will I feel this Cause our love's so mystery Demonstrating love and affection That you give so